Okay, tug work. The concept of playing tug revolves around your dog's desire to chase, or commonly referred to as its prey drive. If your dog has any prey drive, this is the game you want to cultivate. The game of tug starts by treating your tug toy as a prey animal for your dog to want to chase. When your dog shows the desire to chase the tug toy, make it miss a couple times, then finish it off by presenting it with a steady target. Once your dog has hold of that tug, keep that tug moving, constantly moving it up and away out of its mouth versus forward and into its mouth. Two things will happen if the toy goes dead. Your dog will either spit it out or shake it as if it was killing its prey. Now that your dog is playing tug with energy, your second goal is to get the dog to bring the toy back. The idea of keeping your dog attached to the leash is to keep him from running away from you with that tug. Here's an example of some obedience with tug work. Blue is rewarded for the down with a release for the tug toy. Because Blue let go of the toy, I made him work harder for it by a near miss. Watch again, but pay close attention to the toy presentation. A steady target is better than one that is moving. Now that we have your dog chasing the tug, biting, playing, tug with energy, our last goal is to get the dog to let go. Get your tug toy with both hands, pull it in close to your body and hold it still. This makes its prey go dead. Give your dog a single release command. Wait patiently for the dog to let go. When it lets go, immediately reward the dog by releasing it to get the toy. Lastly, remember there are three things needed to use tug toys as reward systems. Your dog needs to play tug with energy, bring the tug back, and let go when you tell it to.